Hi there everyone, we're back at the Royal Society. That's Joseph Priestley, a really famous scientist. He actually discovered oxygen. I don't know what we were breathing before that, but thanks to him. I'm here with Keith to talk about an invention of Priestley's. And this is it here. Keith, this is, this is quite a contraption you've pulled out for us here. What is this? It is. This is a great piece of 18th century furniture, but of course it's a great piece of science as well. And it was very much d intended to be a show piece. So it's not simply something that you would use in your laboratory. You would get it out and you would entertain people with it. You've got something else in your hand there. You've got a book. I'll show people here. Priestley's Electricity and the Year 1777. One of the things I really love about these old books, Keith, is how we have F's instead of S's everywhere, like instead of positive, it's positive, mm. and think, what's going on there? This is just how they used to write English, presumably. It is, that's how it was printed, and it's the subject of much unintentional comedy if you get the S's and F's around the wrong way. I mean, you probably used to write this way when you were at school, I'm imagining. I did, with my quill pen. Yes, yeah, all right. <laughs> Anyway, enough of that. What's in here that you want to show me? Well, Joseph Priestley wrote a very famous uh, history of electricity, and that summarised all the science that had been done on electricity up until that point. One of the most famous experiments done at the Royal Society was by Francis Hawkesby, uh, and he wrote in 1709 about a static generator that he had designed, where within the globe, which was exhausted of air, you could get a light going. So if you turned the handle, spun it really quickly, and put your hand against it, uh, it would light up. Hawksby says that he read letters by this. This is very exciting for a librarian. This is the first time a book had been read by electrical light at the Royal Society. What, what could top that? Wow, I can't, I can't imagine. That's just, that is pretty cool. It is pretty that cool. Is pretty it cool. is very cool. But anyway, we've got, we, apparently in mm. this book, we've got a picture of this, haven't we? Well, we do. And this is a, a machine that is kind of the next generation on from the one I mentioned. So this is uh, the plate showing Priestley's design for an electrostatic generator. And you can see instantly how it works. There's a turn handle here. So this circular apparatus goes round and it pulls with it the globe, which you can see on top of the machine. So what it does, it just starts that globe spinning around. What Keith's telling us is there's a handle here and I would turn it to turn this big wheel here. There would be a cord or a band joining this to this smaller wheel up here, which then starts turning in turn, connected to here, to our big glass bulb. So this thing here is obviously turning. Instead of your hand here, what you've got is a pad. So uh -huh. uh, this pad would be made of leather or possibly of silk. This one is, is just got a little bit of silk left on it, and that would actually do the rubbing for you. So that, that's charging up your globe electrical machine. When Francis Hawksby did this, you had a turn handle, uh, and what you would want to do is put your hand against the glass here so that when it was turning, the friction on, on your hand would make the thing light up. So it would glow with a nice purple light. It's a great thing because um, we, with objects where people have done the design work, they've, they've used the object, it, it's so much more personal than, than just reading about it in books, much as I love books. So here we have something that was used as a demonstration piece and has a very direct connection with a particular science and, and a scientific story. Keith's going to let me move it just a little bit. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Are we watching? There we go. Look at that. Do you think Priestley himself turned this handle? Why not? That's awesome. So that's really interesting about the armbands, but it's these two letters that I find really interesting and a little bit historic. Let's start with this one here on top. So this is Lord Nathan, who's, who's running the, the Ministry of Munitions, and he's writing to Hardy uh, to discuss the use of horse chestnuts. Initially, they thought for the production of alcohol, 